Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After pretty boy Trudeau takes cheap shot at Trump, Canada suffers consequences. The Prime Minister of Canada has been celebrated as a new Obama. The super liberal politician has been worshipped by the media, both in Canada and the United States. He's even tried to upstage President Donald Trump, criticizing him over his policies. But now his country is feeling the sting of his mouth, as a new crisis is growing. Thanks to his big mouth, Justin Trudeau's Canada is facing a crisis. Photo credit, Alex Gebert slash Flickr, U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Marie Anik Santos. When Donald Trump took office, the Prime Minister of Canada quickly picked sides. Being on the far left of the political spectrum, Justin Trudeau openly opposed the incoming president's policies. Much like liberals in the United States, he was trying to push his country into socialism. More so than it already is. When President Trump first put his foot down over illegal immigration, Trudeau decided to virtue signal to the world via Twitter. Diversity is your strength, huh? It's clear this statement was simply meant to criticize President Trump, even though Trudeau was too cowardly to call him by name. Obviously, it wasn't meant as an actual invitation even though Canada is larger than the US and could take in more people. It seems, like all liberals, Trudeau was all talk and no action. He didn't want new people coming to Canada. He just wanted to look like he wanted the people. Since his ill-fated tweet, Canada has seen a record number of illegal aliens enter the country. It's gotten so bad, many politicians are calling it a crisis. What's really amazing is what this liberal country wants to do to control and curtail its immigration problem. It makes Trump look like Gandhi. As the Trump administration has cancelled temporary protected status TPS, for several nationalities with large immigrant communities in the U.S. notably Haitians and Salvadorans. Many of those people have felt they have little option but to flee to Canada for safety. This has led to thousands of asylum seekers crossing into Canada from gaps in the border with the U.S. over the past two years, almost all of them into the province of Quebec from upstate New York. Many, such as the opposition Conservative Party's shadow minister for immigration, Michelle Rempel, have said that this created an unrealistic expectation that anyone could come to Canada. During emergency meetings in Parliament this summer on the issue, Rempel said she doesn't think that's sustainable, and added that she thought the situation is going to get worse. Those feelings have been echoed by leaders in the province of Ontario, who have called on the Trudeau government to do come up with a plan on how to deal with asylum seekers, who continue to cross into the country in significant numbers. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police intercepted 7,326 people at the border between April and July. Source, Fox News. Trudeau unofficially welcomed strangers into Canada. What do you know? They actually took him at his word. We all know we're not supposed to take liberals seriously. They just shoot off their mouths for the cameras. We all smile and applaud. Then they go back to screwing up the government. Since Trudeau opened the floodgates, Quebec has been overwhelmed by the number of irregular immigrants, code for illegals. Their leaders are pushing back on the country's open-door policy. Quebec's government is demanding some strict changes to the laws. Nowhere has this tension over migration been felt more keenly than Quebec the only Canadian province that has partial control over who immigrates there, and the province of arrival for an estimated 96% of irregular border crossers. Many in the predominantly French-speaking province consider immigration to be a process that dilutes Quebec's unique linguistic and cultural identity in North America. Even the Liberal government in the province declared earlier this summer that they, along with the province of Ontario, have run out of room. The party is trailing in opinion polls to a nationalist opposition party known as the Coalition Avenir Quebec, CAQ, which has promised to slash even legal immigration by as much as 20 percent, and to force all new immigrants to learn French. Currently, most immigrants are given the option of learning either English or French. In an interview with the Montreal Gazette earlier this year, the party's immigration spokeswoman Natalie Roy accused the Liberal government of trying to hide the problem, of immigration, under the carpet. Source, Fox News. Well, now, this is very interesting. Even the Liberals in Quebec are saying they have run out of room. Looks to me like Canada has plenty of room for immigrants. The United States is smaller, and we get thousands pouring over our border a day. Canada gets a few hundred a day and suddenly they're all booked up? Give me a break. Notice how Quebec is worried that too much immigration will dilute their cultural identity. I'm sure the Liberal bloggers all agree. But if an American were to say that, look out they'd be called racist and xenophobic. Funny how other countries can get away with that. Quebec's government wants to slash legal immigration by 20%. They are demanding new immigrants learn French. 
Imagine if Trump wanted to do those kinds of things in America. He'd be called Hitler. Oh, wait. They already do that. Isn't it amazing how the world operates at a double standard? When the United States wants to enforce immigration law, we get called bigoted, cruel, and selfish. But when Canada suffers just a fraction of the crisis we're dealing with, they're ready to padlock the country. Trump's plan doesn't sound so crazy, now does it? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.